Hey everyone and welcome back to today's video. So today we are testing out another new foundation. It is the new It Cosmetics foundation. It is their brand new Confidence in a Compact foundation. It is It Cosmetics first ever serum foundation in a compact. It also has a physical SPF of 50 in it as well, but it's more of like a serum foundation. So it's supposed to be lightweight on the skin. It does have anti-aging benefits. Everything in this is gonna be more beneficial for your skin than a normal foundation would. And this is supposed to be a full coverage foundation. Foundation. So it does have some anti-aging ingredients in this foundation as well. It is supposed to help repair your skin's barrier. It is also supposed to boost your skin's hydration. So if you have more dry skin, it is supposed to help plump and hydrate your skin at the same time. I love, love, love It Cosmetics products. I use so many of them. I think they're amazing. I love any type of makeup that is good for your skin at the same time, but I've never been a big fan of their foundations. The CC creams, the any of those type of foundations just never, ever worked for my skin. They were always thick. They were always cakey on my skin after I wore them for a little bit. I have tried them so many times that I really wanted them to work for my skin because they are more beneficial for your skin. I just can never get them to work. So I am super excited to test this one out with you guys today because it does look like it's going to be a really nice formula. I love these type of compact formulas. It kind of reminds me of the Jervis Billman Biofond, which is like a holy grail foundation to me. So we are just going to put this foundation to the test today. I love doing foundation reviews. So I am hoping for the best with this foundation. Now I I do want to mention this does come in as seven different skin tone options, so you should be able to find a great match for your skin. I am using the shade Light on my skin today, so let's just jump into the demo. Let's see how it applies, what I think of this foundation so far, so let's get into it. All right, let's dig on into this foundation here. I'm going to use it in the shade Light. I believe this is going to be the closest shade option for my skin tone right now because I am pretty pale right now. I'm going to actually try to do it with this brush. This is the Heavenly Skin Smoothing Complexion Brush. This is the brush that it's meant to kind of go in this foundation. So I'm going to try it out a little bit with this brush, but I'm thinking I'm going to like the beauty blender better with this type of formula. So I'm just going to try both and we'll see kind of what happens. I'm going to prime my skin first with the pore correcting primer, my favorite, favorite primer. I'm just going to take this and apply this down the T-zone. Just smooth that into my skin first. Okay, so while my beauty blender is still damp here, we're going to try one side with the beauty blender first. I'm going to take it and just kind of dip it on in there. And I feel like with the Beauty Blender, this might work really good. Because it kind of reminds me of like the Biofond formula where I always use a Beauty Blender. So let's just see here. All right, it definitely has a lot of coverage. A little bit goes a long way. I can tell you that right now. Definitely has a lot of coverage get on my nose with the beauty blender because my nose always gets dry patches on it so using a beauty blender with my foundation on my nose always just works so much better. Alright, so you guys can see right here this is the one side done with the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Compact Foundation. I really like it. It's a little bit tacky on my skin right now, I will say that. The coverage is absolutely beautiful. It's definitely more along the lines of like a medium to full coverage for sure. A little bit of this formula definitely goes a long way. But the coverage is really pretty on the skin. It gives the skin a really nice light glow, which just makes your skin look hydrated, which is what you want. So I really like that. The formula is really nice. It's definitely going to be something I'm going to want to set because it does have a slight tacky feeling to it. So we will set it at the end. But let's take this brush and try the other side. Like I said, I'm not a big brush person when it comes to foundation, but we'll give it a go. and I put too much on the brush, I can tell you right now, I'm gonna have to. It's kind of like, um, it's definitely like a cream kind of wet formula at first. So I do like the Beauty Blender with it. I mean, I did actually just put too much on that brush though. So it's gonna be hard for me to blend it in with that brush. I'm gonna have to blend it in with the Beauty Blender. Okay, so there's both sides of my face done with this foundation. Still a little bit tacky. Definitely gonna wanna set that up with some powder, but it looks really nice on the skin. I am really impressed. I do have a little pimple right here. It covers it, but it didn't completely, completely cover. You can still see a little bit of that redness, but nothing major at all. But the coverage is beautiful with this foundation. It looks like skin, this light tone matches my skin tone right now, absolutely perfect, so that's good. I'm really liking the way this looks on my skin. It definitely makes your skin look hydrated and plump. 
so uh, that I like. Let me zoom in really close for you guys. You guys can get a good look. I really like the way this looks on my skin. It's very natural. It has a little bit of that glow, but my skin looks hydrated. It looks plump. It's not sinking into any lines or pores as of now, so we will test that later. But first impressions of this going on, I really like the formula. It definitely leaves your skin a tiny bit tacky. It's actually drying down now a little bit more, but I'm definitely gonna set this with the powder. I will let you guys know kind of how I finish off my makeup. But um, yeah, so here it is up close, and I definitely like it. It looks really nice on the skin. All right, so that is where we are right now. I am gonna go apply the rest of my makeup for the day, and then I will check back in with you guys so you guys can see the finished look of everything put together. I will tell you, though, that the tacky feeling is definitely going away. It's drying, just takes a little bit of time, but I am still gonna apply a powder over top of this, and I will let you guys know what I use. But I'm gonna go apply the rest of my makeup for the day, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I'm back with the makeup on for the rest of the day here, and I have to say I am I'm loving this foundation. It is really nice on the skin. You don't feel it. It's very lightweight, yet the coverage is really pretty. I think this is going to be great for a lot of different skin types because it's hydrating and it gives you that plumpness to your skin, so it's going to be really good for dry skin. But when you set it and it kind of dries down, I feel like if you have like combination skin like me, I think this is gonna be good. We are gonna test it throughout the day, obviously, but I am absolutely loving it so far. The powder that I set it with all over today is this one right here by Pure Cosmetics. It's the Balancing Act Shine Control Powder. I freaking love this powder. It is absolutely amazing for controlling oil and just kind of giving any type of dewy foundation just a little bit more of that madness so it doesn't move around or slide or anything all day. I have been loving this powder. So I figured this would be a good one to put on this one because this was a little bit more of a hydrating formula. So I think that paired really well with this. But first impression so far is I am loving, loving this foundation. I am like shocked with how much I am really liking it. It definitely makes your skin look younger. So check, that's a good thing. I'm gonna zoom in here quick. I'm gonna show you guys up close. All right guys, so check out this foundation. It seriously makes your skin look really nice. It makes it look younger super, super natural, but I can't get over it. It honestly makes your skin look plumper. It really does. Like it is a beautiful formula on the skin. All right, so I'm gonna go do the rest of my thing for the day. I will check back in with you guys later. We'll see how this foundation's holding up. I'm having really high hopes for this foundation because this is definitely one that I can really see myself grabbing all the time. I am loving it. I'm loving the way it looks on my skin that much. So let's see how it wears throughout the day. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so I'm back. It's been a little over four hours now since I applied this foundation this morning. We're gonna check in now, see how it's going. And I'm I'm sorry, but that is as long as I can really do for a check-in today. I have a super busy day for the rest of the day, and I really won't have time to check in. So I figured now, a little over four hours is still a perfect amount of time. It's a little bit like halfway through your day. Now's the time of day where I kind of, you know, touch up or blot or anything that I have to do anyway. So let's zoom on in. Let's see what's going on. All right. So I'm looking in the mirror up close while I have you guys zoomed in here too. So I'm really loving this foundation still. I think it still looks really nice on my skin. I'm getting a little bit shiny just a little bit like now is the time where I would blot or touch up or kind of just dust a little bit over my skin anyway so you can see it's a little bit shiny nothing really crazy mostly just kind of around my nose a little bit and I see a little bit right in here that it's kind of sinking into the lines right here just a tiny bit you guys can see that right there Nothing major again though, nothing that's gonna make me be like, oh, this is horrible. This side is not as much. Maybe this line's deeper, probably. <laughs> but to be honest, the pores still look really good all on here. That's kind of where my pores will start to become an issue with some foundation. My forehead here is still looking good. Just a tiny little bit shiny there. All in all, I am impressed. This looks really Nice still, I like it. You guys are gonna totally laugh at me, but this is what I do to quickly touch up. If I just have a little bit of shine going on, I either take a big powder brush and just kind of like sweep over the T-zone area, which I don't have, and let's face it, if you're out sometimes, you don't have that. So I'm just gonna take this little piece of toilet paper and this is what I do, like no joke, this is what I do. I touch up just a little bit around my nose, just very lightly, and then I'll just kind of press it into like my forehead here, anywhere there's a little bit of oil, just like that. And honestly, that's all that foundation needed. It still looks really good, you guys. Oh my gosh, I am so excited because I love It Cosmetics and I'm so excited that this foundation just looks so freaking good on the skin. I am absolutely loving this. 
Really would recommend this to you guys because one, it's good for your skin. It has some good skincare benefits built into this foundation. It's got an extra SPF of 50 in it, so still apply your SPF like you would with your skincare, but you're just getting an extra protection with this foundation, which I love. I think this foundation is going to be really good for a lot of different skin types. I have combination skin, so my T-zone will get oily, and I'm pretty normal-ish around like the cheek area, so I think anyone from really dry skin is going to like this all the way up to at least where I am. I'm combination oily and I am loving it on my skin. It's holding up really well. I am liking that. I'm really excited. I really like this foundation a lot, you guys. $38, I'm telling you, definitely give this one a try. And I do think that this brush is actually really good with it. It's super soft and I can tell it's gonna be really nice. I just didn't use it properly. I put too much foundation on and you honestly really just need a little bit of foundation and buff this into your skin. So I do think this brush is really nice. So you could use it with a brush if you prefer brushes or with a beauty blender. I think it is so beautiful on the skin. As you can tell, I am super impressed. I really, really am liking it. So thank you all so much for watching and testing out this It Cosmetics foundation with me. We found a winner, guys. I always love when we test out a product and it comes out a winner. If you've tried this foundation too, let us all know your thoughts down in the comments. I would love to know what you guys think as well. But this is definitely one I would recommend. I think you guys will absolutely love it. So thank you all so much again. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see you all next time. Bye.